Yo, yo, yo. A quick flight to get me out the house, New Brighton style. And the wind's a bit weird, a bit variable, but not very strong and a little tiny bit gusty, so it's reversible whenever you kind of want it to be, as long as you've got the patience to wait a second or two. A lot of people would have went forward then, but I always think forward should only really be used if it's absolute zero. I feel you, know, you only need two or three mile an hour wind to do a good reversible launch and then you can keep it there. And here's the River Mersey out to the Irish Sea. If you could see 35 miles that way, you'd be able to see the Isle of Man. Uh, correction, 70 miles, 70 mile that way. Going to do a little touch and go on the sand while there's no one on the beach. So Stu Fly on the Garmin watch seems to be working better than the Garmin watch itself. Absolutely giving me good accuracy in terms of height, which is all I've ever wanted. Um, it's even pointing towards home, which is good if you got lost. Not that you should. And um, what else? Yeah, I, I had my Garmin watch on a commercial flight the other day, an airplane flight, and uh, I noticed that even though it was inaccurate because the cabin is pressurised and all that stuff, it was giving me a mad reading, it was saying it was at 2,500 feet when it was probably at 10,000 feet. 
And then in the descent, it was the, it was decreasing, which is good, but it was only ever updating on the minute, every minute, which means um, that's not good enough, is it? I want every second and altitude, and this do flight S T U F. Is it Stu Flight or Stu Fly? S T U F L Y, I think it is. That on this watch now, which was free by the way, um, is doing exactly what I thought the watch did anyway, which it doesn't. Now, all credit to that guy. Apparently, he's made it himself the app. And um, you can only give credit to these type of people, can't you? Of course, if he tried to charge for the app, he probably wouldn't sell many, so stuck in between a rock and a hard place, but I give them all credit, so if you've got a Garmin watch or one of your kids have got one and you don't mind borrowing it to you when you go flying, download that, it's an um, you get the app on your phone for the watch and then you go searching for the app store for it. And the next thing, it's on you, it's on there, and it's a piece of piss to work. And it gives you an altitude, which is, I'm at 1,040 foot now. Which, to be honest with you, flying without this, I would have thought I was at 1,500 foot now, which would be the ceiling height here. Before I could go, I couldn't go any higher then, because I'd be into Liverpool's half the airspace. Now, it turns out I've still got another 400 foot to play with which is good in some ways. And I think the guy's got his own YouTube channel as well, and he does a bit of flying now in Scotland and stuff, so if I'm not wrong in saying that, someone tag his, um, his handle in the comments below for us, and we can check him out too. But yeah, if you're watching, big thank you to you. Thirteen hundred feet. See, I'd probably put my hands on my heart and say I've never flown at this height, I've never been this high up here, because I would have thought this was definitely past 1,500 feet now, but it turns out it's not, it's about 1,400 feet. 1,374, I'm climbing. If I do a one left turn, I'll be turning into wind, and I'll easily climb a couple of hundred foot that way. I don't want to bust the airspace. But right now I'll be climbing a lot more, and I bet you don't look up your watch now, I'm about 1450. 14.08, I'm wrong, I'm lying. Ignore everything I've ever said, I'm an idiot. It's nice up here though. A bit cold on the hands, good job I've got my gloves. In the little pouch there. 14.85. And we're going into wind, so a little bit of power. Usually give me a hundred foot. I'm a little bit too less. I want to stop me in my tracks, so I've got to be good on the power now. Are we even recording? Yeah, baby. What do you know about hang points, people? So I've been landing on my ass an awful lot lately, and um, I knew it wasn't me. I knew it was better than that. And that's not being cocky, that was me observing videos back of me landings and I'm like, yeah, it flared about now, and then I did, and nothing had happened, and it flared a bit more, and nothing had happened, and it flared a bit more, and I'd be on my ass. And the flare was about one second long, and I, I, I'd become to adopt that as normal, and then I went flying with a gang over in Hull, Paramotor School UK, got an invite off them, good bunch of people, top instruction by the way, check them out. And uh, I noticed these lads were flaring, and the flare was lasting 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and I thought, you know what, it's not me. Something's not right with my equipment, and you know what it turned out to be after speaking to loads of people about it? The hang point. I was just about to leave the house and go out. I adjusted my hang point, my hang points by the other day, and I put them to there, which I don't know if that's a little or a lot, but I just took a wild guess. And the thing flies exactly how it's meant to now. Back to the way it should be, and I land on my feet every time. I've got plenty of flare authority, and the wind does what I tell it to. When I tell it to, 
the seating position is a bit different as it would be but it's not bad let's try a little climb see if this thing reacts according to this I'm at 9.60, surely I've climbed Surely I'm climbing. At least it knows where home is anyway. Do a little turn to the right that there, that I should go to the left, surely. Yeah, it's done it, and I'm climbing. 1,007 feet. And do you know what mate? I can't knock that up. I didn't even tell it to start either. I just opened the app and it works. What more can you ask for? The guy is obviously a paramotor pilot who knows what he wanted himself. Can't knock it. It knows where you are when you start, obviously, because you're not moving. It requires a GPS signal. And it must log it as home and at zero elevation. So then when you take off the ground zeroed, and um, it always points towards home. So even if I was fogged in, now not that you'd ever would be, but it'll point you in the right direction which I think sick what else speed 15 mile an hour flight time 8-1 I don't know what that means 8-1 maybe it's a distance covered I'd rather that told me my takeoff time it names I'm sure you can adjust it so anyway here we are now we're going to descend I'm going to do a little turn to the right 12 and a half we're at in fact I'm going to Go past me home, bug, and see if it does a 180 on me, which it should do in the next 10 seconds. So, according to this, right below me is home. It's getting a little bit sensitive, which tells me I'm on top of it almost. Now, any second now, this will do a 180. It's like tracking every go out when you're a pilot, instrument dating stuff. So yeah, it's saying it's over to the right, it's getting sensitive. If this does a 180 now, I'd date this app, something else. It's doing it, it's doing it. Oh yes, it's almost done it, yeah, so there you go, it points towards home, it's accurate, it works. It's got our GPS, our height, our altitude, distance flown, speed. And it even gives you the bearing. Has he placed the bearing? I'm not I'm not flying on compass, but has he placed the bearing with um, time in the air? That'd be nice. It's probably on there. I'm brand new to the app, so I ain't got a clue, but I guarantee it's already on there somewhere. Okay, let's enjoy. What have we got here? Tiny bit of trim. Do we need it? See what hell is like. You turn back and you're miles away from the car. But this is downwind now, so I'll get there in no time. As you can see, the speed's already picking up. Let's have some fun. Let's do a wingy wingy over. Okay, let's go this way. Woo! Liverpool! One more for fun. How could you not love this game, eh? Flight like, probably cost me three pounds in fuel. If that. How much is a litre of fuel? I get 15 minutes a litre. And a litre cost about less than two quid. Yeah. I'm still on the same page there, over. I've lost track. So I'm going to go in for a landing, because I'm having too much fun. Let's check me onto the tune. 
Oh, minus 40 feet. Well, that's mad. I'm, I'm underwater now, according to this. So it's not perfect. Maybe that's my fault. Normally is. So when I was at 1500 feet, I was really bringing the water. What a beautiful afternoon. So as long as I don't break a bone now, it's all been a success and I get to come out and do it again tomorrow. Closer to the car, Chris. You're better than this, lad. Just here, lad. I landed fast and that was my own fault for trying to gain height and when I let go of the power I've done a swoop landing which since adjusting me kit that would have never have happened normally yeah according to me watch I'm now minus 380 feet so I obviously need to calibrate that and get that sorted but no issue Ta -da. Fly guy out, baby.